Good morning. Uh, a little bit late getting started this morning because my webcam died. Um, you got to see my beautiful face, haven't you? Um, uh, took a little bit of time to get that sorted. Don't know what was going on. Um, but anyway, it seems to be working now. So uh, let's get going. Um, so yesterday um, I was working on Snippet Pixie, as always. Um, and we got to the point of being able to turn a snippet into a lump of JSON. Um, so it can now be marshaled to JSON. This is the test. So you give it a snippet, do JSON marshal of that snippet, um, and it outputs something which kind of looks like that. So, um, and let's just double check that everything's in place now that I've had to reboot and stuff. Uh, let's see if I go back here. And I just bump this up a bit. Oops. That's maybe too much. Oh dear. Um, okay, so I should be able to do make clean. Test. That's um, taking its time doing that again. Must be um, catching up on some libraries there. I think. Did I? Oh, I did do some updates and things. So yeah, maybe it's refreshing stuff. Okay, so that passes, and then we can make. That's cool. Um, okay, that's smart. Then if I go to the daemon. Let's just double check it's all okay. Up here, if I go to the command line interface for the snippet pixie. I should be able to see some. Okay. Right. So what I want to do now, um, I'm not going to have a lot of time today. Um, but what I want to try and get done is start to use the JSON. Sorry, the JSON. Um, in an export file. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll just try and get to the point of building an, out, uh, an export file format. Um, I'm not, that's really don't have a lot of time. And then uh, on the next one, we'll try and actually hook it up to actually get a file and things. So now I've got to decide where and what I'm going to do for that. Um, so we've got a snippet in a package. And we can now have JSON output. I wonder whether I should have an export package or whether it's better to be part of an internal thing for the moment. Maybe even in the manager. Would I be using the manager for everything? Well, the manager's going to want to export, but it could use another package to say, hey, give me an export file of these snippets. That'd be handy. Actually, no, the manager's not going to do the export. The command line interface and then eventually the GUI are going to do the exports. It's the manager just deals with the data side of things. Okay, so I think a new internal package that I can use for the CLI and the GUI. So I'll do that. 
and we'll call it Uh, is either going to be export or file or export file. Although it's going to do import stuff too. Although it's importing an export file. It's specific to that. So yeah, okay, we'll just call it export for the moment. So we've got a new thing there. What's this make file look like? Uh, test, 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 tidy. That's fine. That's the kind of thing we want. So I will nick that, stick that in there. Yes, I'll add that, thanks. So we've now got in there nothing. Um, and now we want to create a, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Don't need all this up here at the moment. We'll be doing that in a bit, but we'll come back to it. Kind of want to keep that around because I think I'm going to be using this as kind of reference in a minute. Yeah. Let's create a new go file and we'll call it um, again. See, it could call it export. It could be format, couldn't it? No, oh, I'm just quit export for now. I can always change it. So what we're going to do here, so we need a structure. So yesterday, um, I have it here. I exported from snippet pixie. So in the existing snippet pixie, you can do an export snippets and then say where to export it. And we've got a file here. Um, so we've got a generator, version, data, and then in there we have all the snippets. So generator, version, data. Okay, I think what we need is a structure that we can marshal to that. So type export struct um, and we need it to have at the top level a generator string it's then going to have is it version version and data. Version string. And then we have data, which is going to be a slice.
slice of what data? Should we have another struct? So if we have, because we're going to be sort of iterating down through it. So data now includes snippets. which is a slice of snippet. I think that's going to work. No, unused, OK. I'm just wondering whether the export's going to conflict with anything in Go. I guess we'll find out. Okay. So now we need to actually deal with actually doing it. So what should we do? How are we going to do it? We want to basically pass a bunch of snippets to a function and let it spit out some JSON. So do we just do export? And we pass in snippets as whoops as a slice. snippets and then return it's gonna be a slice of bytes isn't it for Jason and potentially an error I guess Well, I'm going to go. OK, so we're going to have an export as a new export. And that's going to have generator of now I've got to decide what I'm actually calling this version. Um, what's this ID going to be? Because <laughs> I want to give it a GitHub thing. So in the previous example, 
is used in this, which is unfortunately what was required when I was when it was built for elementary uh, Snippy Pixie. Um, but there's no reason for me to have GitHub anymore, especially as I'm not even hosting it there anymore. Well, not this new version anyway. Current version, it's all there. I'm tempted to go com dot snippet pixie. But I believe if I'm going to be using this in various package managers and stuff, it's better to have a three part ID. for reasons. So maybe just chop out GitHub. Keep byte pixie. But then again, I could just do com snippet pixie snippet pixie. I could just call it snippet pixie. It's just a way of making sure we know who generated the file in case there's any issues. Um, Let's just call it Snippet Pixie for the moment. Doesn't really matter. Moment. Okay. And then version. Uh, we do have version E type data somewhere, don't we? So the CLI will have it. Um, where am I setting that there? Uh, could pass it in, I guess. Although it's the format, not yeah, it's the format. It's not the um, generator. So let's just make that. All right, it's an integer. Uh, we'll make that. Well, there's a good chance this is going to be Snippy Pixie 2, not 1.6. Is it? I'll we'll do 160 for the moment. And then we need some data, which will be have to be some data that I'm creating. So, starters, that should be an integer, and it will just be like that. Now we need to create some data first. So, data, going to be data, and that's going to have Snippets Snippets ah. 
Okay. Why is that complaining then? Interesting. I did that format wrong. So we have data, which is an array of objects. And in those objects, we have Things like snippets is an array of objects. So we've got that bit right, but we haven't got this bit right. So data is an array of what types Saved data types. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well. So we kind of need to iterate down further. So here we've got data and that is actually Generator version data is an array, and in that array we have we have an object. No, it is right. It is right, okay. I think.
he says, really not sure. Data. Ah, I don't know why. Okay, yeah, so it's not quite like that. So we have Yeah, that's going to be interesting. It's kind of It's a bit of a bag of any kind of data that I've got there. So... Could have any kind of thing in there. I'm not sure what to do with that, on structure-wise. Because we've got, in theory, an array of snippets, but we could have, say, an array of settings. So why did I make... I'm going to try something. I'm going to make that just data. Let's rename that so it doesn't clash, so it's the obvious what's going on here. I think we just need to marshal it, don't we? So in theory, we can then just do JSON marshal. I need to rename that again. It's not, it's just two. Um,
do this. Yeah, not sure what that's going to do. Let's create a test file and see what we get. Um, so we kind of want to do this. Create a file first. Yeah, I'm not sure that I've done the right thing there. I think I need to change that, but we'll find out in a sec. Um, let's just take all this. And take out that, that, don't need any of that, So I'll create a snippet. Um, and we will just name that. Yeah. Then we'll have Slice so that, and then we will do uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's right. snippets equals pen two snippets. The snippet, and then we'll do it again. And uh, not all of it, though, but 
bunch of it. I should really do a scale function and stuff, but me don't need we can keep the previous now overwrite in that And that should append that. So now we have a bunch of snippets. Well, two. Um, so we should, in theory, be able to do export snippets and it'll be a very different format to what we've just tested on a small snippet but I want to see what we get out so this is going to go bang and we'll see I'll just do a quick test So, in theory, I can do make test here. Yeah. So we've got generator snippet pixie version 160 data, which is not an array. Why on earth did I do an array? I don't know why I did that. Hmm, can't remember now. Um, and then we've got snippets and we've got what we expected there then we get the second snippet end of snippets end of data end of file okay so now I've got to work out Why? Why? Why did I do? Why on earth did I do an array? Strain. Interesting. Um, so this is, I mean, look at all this <laughs> you have to do for Vala. Um, so, right, so yeah, so created a generator version. Then we create the data, begin an array, begin an object. Set it to snippet pixie, and then begin an array. Start the objects, dong 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 dong, create it, end it. And the array snippets.
and the snippet object and the data array. Then finish off the file. But why? Why did I do this? What was my reasoning for that? Hmm, no, well, well, the problem is, I kind of need to deal with that now, no matter what, because I want to be able to import a file of this format, version 101, into Snippet Pixie 1.6. So I do kind of need to support it. It would have been so much easier if it was just data is an object and it has a snippets key and a whatever settings or formats, whatever it is I'm going to, I could add. Quick test. So um, let's do really doing my head in. So I have data, which is an array of objects. So that's kind of nothing. be anything. And it just so happens that we include one instance. something that includes snippets. I kind of want to do so. That's really annoying. So what if we did bag and then we make this did D 
state of format. So we have that. No, it doesn't make sense. Oh, I'm totally out of time as well. Damn it. Okay. All right. I'll undo that. Because at least we know that kind of works. And then I need to work out what, what's one going to do with that. Because I'm not sure. I might have to do... It might have to be something like an array of interface like that. And then I could stuff in anything I like. Somehow. Not sure. I need to look that up. But yeah, that's that's really annoying that I've done that on my previous version. Anyway, right, I've got to go. Um, so um, thanks again for watching. Um, uh, until next time, take care.